And now we're going to break down the arms and the sass and we're going to take a look at some of the bridge drop Nelson Basin internals that are inside of it. There's a couple of neat features that it uh, incorporates into the design and we'll compare those to phantom internals. So looking at both guns again, you can see that the frames are very similarly spaced and the back bottles also appear to be around the same dimensions. You can see the undercocking rods on both guns. And now we're going to disassemble the Armson Assassin. Looking at the Armson Assassin internals, we can see they look very similar to Phantom internals. The sear geometry is uh, almost identical. Looking at the Assassin's breech drop bolt, we can see the flat slot on the side of it, allowing balls to drop easier into the breech. We can also see the square velocity anti-kink adjuster inside of it, instead of the normal Nelson hex adjuster. We can see the undercocking notch in it, which catches the rod just as a phantom's would, just like that. Looking at the back bottle assembly, we can see the raised high sight with the brass pin in the front of it, unscrewing the power tube from the back bottle assembly. Looking at the assassin's power tube assembly, we can see the claw style end of it. I don't know how else to describe that. We can also see the kind of cone style power tube uh, cup seal assembly that it uses unscrewing the power tube from the cup seal assembly. We can see the very, very fine threads that it's held on by. Uh, definitely, I don't know, they must be metric threads, they're very fine. We can see the cone style assembly with the circular seal that's on it. And we can also see the base of the power tube Looks like it's a larger outer diameter than a normal Nelson. And that means that the valve retaining screw is also a larger inner diameter. Looking at the Assassin's body, we can see that it uses the Pro Teams or Armson style detent. Looking at the pump handle, we can see it has a rod similar to a Phantom's and it's uh, one solid piece. Looking at the Assassin's Barrel, we can see that it has the usual polygon progressive spiral rifling inside of it. And the barrel itself is around 15 or 16 inches long. Here we can see the Phantom internals on the bottom compared to the Assassin's internals on the top. Uh, power tubes are similar length. The back, bottles assemb back bottle assemblies are also similar dimensions. Looks like they would be compatible with each other. Um, the screw hole looks like it might be slightly larger on the Assassin. The internals are very similar. Sear geometry is the same on both. Undercocking holes are spaced similarly on both. Again, these are earlier Phantom internals, probably 1990, 1991, 1992, so they don't use the TPC. Quick look at the frames, we can see they are also very similar. Screws are evenly spaced. Trigger geometry is almost identical. And now we're going to do a speed reassembly of the Armson Assassin. Dropping the internals in, connecting the pump rod to the bolt, threading in the barrel, inserting the power tube assembly, placing the grip frame, lining up the front, threading in the front grip frame screw, threading in the back grip frame screw. And now we're ready to hit the field with our arms and assassin.